Hey, JR Feeland here with South Jordan Horse Lessons. Today's video is talking about leads. What is a right lead? What is a left lead? What does it matter? Why does it matter? Um, let's talk about it. Let's go into it. Uh, we're at SouthJordanHorseLessons.com uh, and uh, we'd love you to come and check out our full videos. All right, uh, today we're working with Laredo. He's been he's a horse that's been around here in the program for a little bit now. And uh, so he's gonna show us and demonstrate leads. So let me, I guess, give you the, the preface. If a horse is turning left, he needs to be in a left lead. If he's turning right, he needs to be in a right lead. Okay, so, so, so far, does that make sense? Okay, so now let's talk about what is a lead. A horse has four feet. And a lead is if his left foot is in front of the right foot like this, that's what's called the lead. So if the horse is turning to the left, his left foot needs to be in front of his right foot. Okay, so now let's talk about this. I, I only talked about just one set of feet. And here's the deal, he's got four feet, right? So. Can a horse be in the right lead with his hind legs and in the left lead with his front legs? Yes, it is. And if you ever wonder why it feels weird when you're riding your horse, that's why. Um, because the horse is moving his feet all skiwampus, okay? So um, you need to uh, move, so both sets of feet should be in the same lead to have it feel correct. And if you're going to the left, it should be in the left lead. And if you're going to the right, it should be in a right lead. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate this on the ground first of what this looks like. Uh, we're gonna do it with our lunging uh, for unity exercise and get some loping going on. So I give him some direction. Now we're gonna add some energy. Come on, come on. Okay, so do you notice the the back left foot and front left foot are stretching out further than the right feet, than the right feet. Come on. Oh. All right, so if he's turning left, he needs to be in a left lead, which was correct. His left feet were moving out further than the right feet. So now let's demonstrate it the other way. So we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the right. Come on, build up the energy, please. Come on. Come on. So now the right feet are stretching out Come on. Oh. The right feet are stretching out further than the left feet. So that would be what's being called being in the correct lead. If you're turning right, they need to be in the right lead. If you're turning left, you need to be in the left lead. Now we're gonna demonstrate it from the saddle. All right, now we're gonna show you from, uh, from the saddle. Okay, so my direction, I'm gonna be heading to the left, so we're gonna be looking for a left lead. So his front and hind left legs should be stretching out further than the uh, front right and hind right legs. Okay, now we're gonna go to the right. So now his front right leg and hind right leg should be stretching out further than the front left leg and front and hind left leg.
All right, folks. Okay, so there's leads for you. Now you're probably asking, why should I care? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, here's the here's the big answer, and this is as we're as we're teaching horse riding. Uh, this is this is one of the big questions. Why should I care? Okay, so here's here's what happens in when a horse doesn't have any bridle on him, any saddle on him, and he's just out at play. You will see a horse in the correct lead all the time, like pretty much all the time. Like as they frolic and play and do all their athletic abilities and do all their things, being in the correct lead for the horse is being in balance for the horse. And it's letting their feet fall so that they can be at the optimum uh, athletic stance to be able to do all their things, if that makes sense, right? So what happens is, is when we disturb the surface of the horse, right, with bridles and ropes and saddles and bodies and everything, all 200 pounds of me or whatever, you know, as we sit on the horse, all of a sudden the horse starts to think, how do I carry this? How do I, how do I carry the weight? And so the horse starts to, starts to fumble over the leads. And so, um, and when they do this, they're out of balance and they're not able to correctly perform at their maximum athletic capability as if they're in the correct as if they were in the correct lead if that makes sense okay so it especially gets really for reals like when you're making some pretty sharp turns and stuff if you're in the correct lead a horse really can't stretch and articulate uh, his feet in the way that he should he can't really like lift up his inside uh, shoulder if, if, if he can't lift that inside shoulder up as he makes a turn, it's gonna really make it so he starts to do this kind of an action, and you really start to lose you know, balance and footing and all these kinds of things. And so, um, yeah, so it, does that answer the why uh, leads and, and why we do uh, right lead, left lead, and why we care so much? Okay, so we're gonna go over a bunch of details of how to get the leads. How do you get this kind of a thing, right? How do you influence the horse, especially if you've got a horse that's favoring one lead or the other? And let me give you a little hint. Every horse favors one lead over the other. But how do you make sure that you, you even those out, work the horse to be able to be confident with it, but also build up the muscle structure also, to be able to do it with you on their back also, right? And so um, come check our site out. We're at SouthJordanHorseLessons.com. My name is J.R. Feeland. And uh, we're gonna teach you how to get the leads, how to do it the correct way. How to do it first with the hind legs first so that it leads up through to the front legs and uh, so it can set you up for success. Keep you and your horse balanced, keep you and your horse safe. Have you be able to be able to do the most athletic deals at the most speed possible at the, at, and, and uh, really maximize the capability out of you and your horse. I've always said that horses are kind of like the original Iron Man suit. Uh, they make you fly, they make you taller, they make you stronger. They just don't shoot those little cool light beams out of their, uh, out of their hoofs like Iron Man does. But uh, if you get the correct leads, you can increase that capacity even more. So thanks for joining us today. If this has been a good video today for you, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We've got a bunch of videos we're going to be sending out to you. And I'd love to keep you informed on uh, more ideas for horse lessons, more ideas how to improve your, your capacity as a, as a horse rider, and how to help your horse out too, and ha have them be and uh, reach their maximum also in your journey with them. Thanks for watching.